Cristiano Ronaldo will wear a revolutionary bracelet against France, situated just below that bandage, which he has worn throughout the Euro. We've wondered what Ronaldo was hiding on his wrist, and now we have the answer. So, if you want to see what this bracelet looks like and what its purpose is, I'll explain everything. Visually, it looks roughly like this, but Cristiano has this little gadget in several colors. Back when he was with Manchester United, you could see him wearing the same bracelet in black during training. In this very recent photo of Cristiano training with Portugal, you can see him wearing the same bracelet in a gold and silver color, and that's precisely the bracelet he'll wear against Mbappe's French team. But what does this bracelet do? And why is it revolutionary in helping Ronaldo perform even better? It's simple. This little gadget allows him to measure a ton of data to track his performance, collect the data, and create personalized training programs. Here's a completely improbable anecdote. His performance data was calculated during the match against Slovenia, particularly tracking the changes in his heart rate. So essentially the moments when his heart beats faster or slower, either due to physical exertion or the stress that can increase your heart rate, for example. Against all odds, his lowest heart rate was recorded just before he took his penalty in the shootout, which he successfully converted, and right after he apologized. This shows Ronaldo is truly unlike any other player, because I think 100% of players would likely experience a spike in stress just before taking a penalty, which is human with all the pressure involved, but not CR7. It's the moment when he's the most relaxed, demonstrating his incredible concentration when shooting. Plus, he had good reasons to be stressed because remember, he missed his first penalty earlier, so he really had no choice but to score the second. And it's pretty crazy because it seems like the two football goats, CR7 and Messi, are connected till the end. Both are playing their competitions on different continents, one in the Euro and the other in Copa America. Well, last night, Messi also missed a penalty with Argentina, just days after Ronaldo's miss. It's really rare for both to miss a penalty within a week. It almost cost Messi dearly because he tried to replicate Zidane's 2006 Panenka against Buffon during the shootout. Instead of hitting the bar and going in, it hit the bar and went out. But luckily, no harm done for Messi, as Emiliano Martinez saved the day with a monstrous shootout performance, stopping two more penalties. And Dibu may be the public enemy number one for his opponents, but one thing you can't take away from him is his composure on penalties. Of course, the goalkeeper made a spectacle of himself again by dancing after his saves to taunt his opponents and dedicated one of his feats to Messi, as seen in a video where he points to his captain and says, this one's for you, with Leo thanking him from a distance. Argentina will face either Venezuela or Canada in the semifinals and is getting closer to a new title. But the most important match remains tonight's France-Portugal, with the reunion between CR7 and Mbappe. It's an opportunity for the Frenchman to praise the Portuguese star just before the match. It's an honor. Everyone knows the admiration I've always had for Cristiano as a player. Over time, I've had the chance to know him, talk with him many times, and we stay in touch. He always tries to give me advice to follow my news. It feels good. Playing against him is an honor for all he's done in football. No matter what happened before, what will happen after, he'll always be a legend of the game. But of course, we hope to win tomorrow and go to the semifinals. Mbappe didn't miss the chance to praise another Portuguese and Real Madrid legend, Pepe, the oldest player at the Euro at 41. Killian is excited to face him, has a lot of respect for him, but warns that on the field, there will be no respect. It will be a pleasure for me to play against him tomorrow. And the only thing I can say to him is respect for all he's accomplished. Sure. Tomorrow on the field, we won't respect him, but off the field, we're men. And the only thing I have for him is a lot of respect. Mbappe also responded to criticisms of the French team's play, comparing it to when he played with Paul Pogba, his former teammate. I think a lot of people refer to the game we had when I joined the team, but we had different players. We had midfielders like Paul Pogba, who we don't have anymore. With Paul Pogba, you just had to put your head down and run, make a move, you knew the ball would land at your feet. Today, with the players I have, maybe we play less deep because that's less their characteristic to send you deep. Now, if there are spaces, I love to exploit spaces. So if there are spaces tomorrow, I'll dive in, hoping we can seize them and score goals.